Hello crafters! This tutorial will show you how to create the bookmark envelopes and sleeves from the digital files you purchased from Packaging Obsession. The files are compatible with Cricut, Silhouette and Scan and Cut machines. I'll start with a general explanation of the files and I've put time markers in the description if you want to skip to the tutorial for your specific machine. I'll be doing the full tutorial using Cricut, as well as a brief tutorial showing how to use this design with the Silhouette and Brother Scan and Cut software. First, the general explanation. All going well, you will have successfully purchased and downloaded the digital file. If purchased on Etsy, the file will be sent to you via a confirmation email from Etsy, or you can go to your profile, then click Purchases and Reviews, and download the file from there. Make sure to unzip the file first. Connect and turn on your Cricut and open the Cricut Design Space software. Click on the menu on the top left and select Canvas. On the new screen, select Upload, then Upload Image. Click on SVG files. Now here you have three options. If you have a scoring tool for your Cricut machine, select the first option. This means your Cricut will create the folding points automatically. If you don't have a scoring tool, you can either have the Cricut make fold points with the fine blade, or you can have the Cricut cut out the main design and score the fold points yourself manually. I'll be using the first option for this tutorial, but I'll also briefly show you how to do the others since they're mostly the same process. So let's get into the file and let's choose the fancy embellishment design for this video. Click upload, then select the file you uploaded and click add to canvas. Now usually the design won't be grouped, but if it is, simply right click and select ungroup. Then you want to select all the elements and click Attach. This will instruct your machine to do the whole project on one piece of card. If you just want to cut out the box, you can always delete the inner sleeve and vice versa. Next, and this is very important, select the scoring lines element where you want the box to fold and change it from basic cut to score. When you click off the element, it should show as dotted lines like this. Now for those without a scoring wheel, as I said before, you can use the fine blade method or you can score it manually. With the fine blade method, your Cricut will cut perforated lines along your design for easy folding. And manually, you can use either your own scoring tool or like me, a makeshift scoring tool. I like to use the corner of a ruler if I'm doing manual scoring. It does the job just fine. Now you're ready to set up your machine. Click make it, then click continue. Next, you want to choose your base material. Either medium or heavy cardstock option is best depending on the thickness of the card. I've been able to cut boxes up to about 310 GSM using the heavy cardstock option and the more pressure option. However, this won't always cut through cleanly and you'll generally get better results with a medium thick card. I'm using a 250 GSM card in this video. So now, just follow the instructions of your Cricut. Load in your scoring wheel and let it do its thing. And voila! Your box is cut, scored and ready to be assembled. You can use either glue or double-sided tape to put it together. I find glue works best personally. And there you have it, a pretty little bookmark envelope, flat and compact so that it slips easily into a mailing envelope while also providing protection and a lovely way to display your precious creation. Enjoy! 
Here's a brief tutorial for those using Silhouette Studio. I'll be using the free basic version of Silhouette Studio which uses DXF files. However, if you're using a paid version, the process will be similar, but you can use SVG files instead. So, first open Silhouette Studio. Then you want to click on the file icon and select the DXF files folder. If you have a scoring tool accessory for your machine, you'll want to select the first option. If you'd like the machine to cut the fold points on the design, select the second option. If you want the machine to cut out only the basic design and let you score the fold points manually, select the third option. We'll select the scoring tool option. Next, select the design you would like. Let's try the rounded window design. So here you can see the design on the canvas. Click send, then click on the line tab. This line in green indicates where the machine needs to score. So change the cut action to score. Then you can start your machine and follow its instructions. For the other methods, using fine blade or scoring manually, you won't need to change anything and can simply tell your machine to start cutting. Finally, here is a tutorial for the Brother Scan and Cut machine. Open the Brother Canvas Workshop. Then you want to go to File, import from your computer and find the design you'd like to make. You can choose either DXF files or SVG files since both are compatible with Scan and Cut. I recommend SVG just because it's a little easier to work with. As far as I know, this machine doesn't come with a scoring tool, so you can either choose for the machine to cut dotted lines with the fine blade, or you can cut out the basic design and score the lines manually after. I do have a possible workaround detailed in the PDF instructions that come with the download, where you can make your own scoring tool for the scan and cut machine. However, I haven't tested this method on this design, so I can't guarantee the results. Let's go for a design that has the machine cut the lines itself. Position as you'd like on your mat, and when you're ready, just export or transfer the file to your machine and let it get cutting. I hope this tutorial answered any uncertainties, but if you still have questions, please feel free to message me via my Etsy shop and I'll do my best to help you resolve any issues. Have a great day crafters, and best of luck with your projects. Bean.